After a year of standing up and speaking out, the reluctant torchbearers of a movement for empowerment aren't done yet. Brace yourselves. A day after the parliament apologised to women mistreated while working there, those words sorry. were welcomed, but their inadequacy highlighted. Recognising there's a problem is 50 years short of what's required. The fine words and lofty ambitions that have been espoused by the nation's leaders to tackle violence against women, bullying in the workplace and child sex abuse are far from being realised. I'm not interested in words anymore. I want to see action. The now former Australian of the Year has found her advocacy stifled. I received a threatening phone call from a senior member of a government-funded organisation asking for my word that I wouldn't say anything damning about the Prime Minister. The caller apparently worried about their next encounter. The Prime Minister's office says that did not come at Scott Morrison's behest. Obviously it is an unacceptable thing for any agency that is funded by government to be seeking to do that. What is the point of awarding someone for their work only to stifle them while they do it, when it gets too real? There are words directly from the Prime Minister that still sting. For Brittany Higgins, hearing Scott Morrison say he was advised by his wife to deal with her allegation of being raped at Parliament House as though it had happened to his daughters. I didn't want his sympathy as a father. I wanted him to use his power as Prime Minister. The actions the pair want are clear and defined, from parliamentary staff having workplace rights in line with corporate Australia to having the word relationship removed from legislation relating to child sex abuse. $2 billion on women's safety has been already committed and spent by this government since 2013. Despite the momentum, Brittany Higgins confessed a fear the moment is slipping away and the opportunity for change with it. But the presence and power of the pair speaking together at the National Press Club is itself a demonstration of hard-won progress. I've never um, really seen people who, you know, young women, hold that amount of accountability over power figures. A new dynamic at work. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra. And if you or someone you know needs help, please contact 1800 RESPECT.